The future of the Old Nueces County Courthouse was on the agenda at today's county commissioners meeting. Since it closed in the late 70s, there have been several failed attempts to fix up the 106 year old building. Our Patrick Johnstone tells us what this latest plan entails. Wednesday, the Nueces County Commissioner's Court voted to allow Bracewell LLP to draft a two-step process that will hopefully attract developers from around the country to bid on the property of the old Nueces County Courthouse. We don't want it willy-nilly, and that's exactly right. We, it's got to be an incredibly thoughtful process. The courthouse has been a polarizing figure. Some people want the historical site preserved. Others, like business owner Floyd Anderson, want it gone. I think they need to tear it down. I really do. I just don't think he can save it. Since it is a historical site, Anderson believes changes to the building will be hard to make. They've got to be approved in Austin with that historical designation they've got on it. So it's, it's a hard uh, thing to overcome, looks like. And since the building is one of the first things visitors see when they enter the city, Anderson said it gives a bad first impression. They just think it's it's a crappy place to be there. I mean, when you're driving in and have to see that. I mean, if they're going to leave it there, they need to fix it up or do something with it. Somebody does, the county or the city or somebody. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Patrick Johnstone, Chris 6 News. And the next part of the process would be for developers to submit their interest in the site through Bracewell LLP. Now, the Old Nueces County Courthouse was built in 1914 and it was in use until the mid 70s. It was added to the National Register of Historical Places in 1976. And in 1995, it was added to the list of most endangered historic properties in Texas. Three years later, it was designated as one of the nation's 11 most endangered places.